it's April 19th. I'm going to give you another bi-weekly update. Everything is doing extremely well. You see my peas are about two, or maybe approaching three foot tall on the trellis. Bucket line is doing fine. My wife has started taking some of the uh, lettuce. Eleven Station Vertical Tower is doing extremely well. I have one tower yet to fill up. Lettuce, got some celery, a whole bunch of different herbs, <coughs> spinach. This is my original prototype tower. You can see it's just exploding. This is a, a squash and melon bed. It will be a squash and melon bed right now. It has some of uh, my wife's flowers she purchased with some hanging ferns that are watered several times a day. You can you can see the uh, the water coming off of them. It drips down onto the flower. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts. I finally did get all my tomatoes. Two peppers here. One of my thickest tomatoes. I'm starting to wrap that. Just planted these a couple days ago. You see some brown on the edges. I don't know if it's some type of shock or nutrient shock. My head lettuce starting to form up. Cabbage. I'm still trying to grow from seeds. I found out I do not like the rock roll cubes, and I'm not that happy with the Jiffy peat pots. I'll probably just stick with regular soil six packs. Peppers, some more broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and my second pea trellis. Doing very, very well. It's almost to the top of, the, of that trellis. Eggplant. It's a propagation bed. I'm always doing some propagating. Sweet potato vines and whatever she does. Some flowers. Getting ready for spring. We purchased all these. Leftover tomatoes. I have some lettuce seedlings growing in here. And this is the first grow box I've planted. Carrots, beets, and onions. It's just exploding in here. And my last experiment was this new tower. I used uh, Brent's idea of the holes with, with just a small heat formed lip. I really, really like it. I tried for three or four days to do nutrient film in, in here and I just totally failed. I'm not willing to invest in the big enough pumps to totally wet the inside and all the roots. They were wilted real, real bad last night. So I just filled the, uh, the uh, inside up with, with perlite and they really bounced back today. So I really like this tower. When you look down through the inside, it's a straight shot the whole way down. Very, very easy to clean out. And this will probably be my grow method uh, next year. I'll build more of these towers with only this expanded, this heat expanded lip out the bottom. Uh, and the top will be flush. But I really like the idea. Right now I have cloning plugs in to hold the, uh, the seedlings. I washed all the dirt off of the seedling roots and put them in the cloning plugs when I tried the NFT technique. So in the future, I'll just be putting probably purchased transplant plugs right in this hole. I'll just cover this hole up right now so we don't get any algae. And that's it. That's my update. See you next time.